What up, Prof Ladies? Welcome back to my channel. We're at Sheriff Street, entering Bellier Gardens. So, this is the eastern end of Bellier. Bellier Park. Eastern end of Bellier Park. And this is, these are actually recently constructed homes. And this is a kind of um, park in the center of the street, Bellier Park. What does it say? Bellier Park uh, Residential Playfield. That's the Bellier Park Residential Playfield. And there's some recent dispute about how the park is to be used. Apparently some residents, football, no football or cricket until further notice, strictly enforced by management. There's been some dispute about how the park is to be used because some residents believe that the park should not be available to people who don't live in Bel Air Park. But yeah, this is another uh, suburb, what used to be called a suburb in Georgetown in say the 1970s and 1980s. This was where some of the politicians lived and some of the um, elite business businesses were located. Now of course everybody lives here, particularly people who have either moved back to Georgetown from overseas, having retired overseas and come back to live here, or people who uh, sort of bought into and built their homes while they were abroad and have started either renting it to expatriates and diplomats or have come back, retired, and come back to live in it themselves. So this used to be one of the elite neighbors. I think, still think it is one of the elite neighborhoods in Georgetown in the sense that it's quiet and it's secure in the sense that it doesn't really see the kind of street crime that the city center and some of the business district sees because of course there's not a whole lot of foot traffic but there's also a higher security where people hire their own security guards and neighborhood watch uh, to protect their property and some of it is actually um, owned by the banks. That is, some of the property in this neighborhood is owned by the bank. I know, for example, GBTI owns uh, their club in this neighborhood. And they have their own, um, you know, club facilities, swimming pools, tennis courts, and so on in this neighborhood. And what that means is that they can afford to, because it's, company property they can afford to staff it with um, security guards and and uh, attendants that do maintenance and so on so makes it a lot more um, well maintained and secure in terms of a community compared to say the business district in downtown Georgia, and that's where, um, say, Rob Street or Regent Street, which is, used to be residential neighborhoods or combined residential and commercial, but have become mostly uh, commercial districts now. Somebody pointed out to me that Regent Street is now almost entirely owned by the Chinese because Chinese have been moving in, buying up uh, property to build stores on Regent Street. That, for example, is where the GBTI club is located. Right, somebody's building a larger home. Right, somebody's building a larger home opposite the club. And this is where GBTI has their recreational center, as it says there. GBTI recreational center. And their tennis courts, swimming pool, Sports club facilities are located in this neighborhood. We're looking west, so it's difficult to see against the sun. Good afternoon. So, 
in Bel Air Park you have uh, company facilities as well as uh, residential unfortunately you also have noise nuisance like I said it was what what separated the suburbs from the city center was that it was always quiet but now of course that is changing there is the um, I don't know influx of ideas about um, fun and for some reason in Georgetown fun has become about being loud and noisy I think we did a video on this street so I'm not gonna give you too much um, more content on Bel Air Park but only to say that it used to be a suburb but because it's an residential mainly residential except for that um, GBTI facility like I said it's a company facility the recreational facility was built here in this residential neighborhood and sort of um, took advantage of the quiet and the space the larger lots that you get or you used to get in the suburbs right because in the city center and closer to the center of the city you had lots that were 40 feet by 80 feet long or you know the form factor meant that your houses that were built or the properties the buildings that were built were either tall and narrow or short and narrow because of the the, the, the footprint of the lot right of the residential lot but here in the suburbs the lots tended to have a different shape and size and so people could build larger homes and that is in fact what separated the suburbs from the city center and also because it was quieter now of course there are people who think that having fun means being as loud and as obnoxious as you can and that is actually becoming part of this part of the suburbs like i said that is new construction i think that is for larger construction larger homes being built in Bel Air gardens this is i think reserve land that was supposed to be a park i don't know when they're gonna convert it but right now this land has been lying fallow for what last 20 30 years i don't know if it's privately owned but i think it was supposed to be a park here on in Bel Air, in Bel Air Park but these are the houses that were um, characteristic of the suburbs and they tended to be different because they had larger land space to build on compared to the city of Georgetown but as you can see in Lama Gardens people are actually building even bigger than they used to build in the 70s these would be considered small you know by modern standards people who are building large houses and now building them for a thousand square feet and bigger All right but this is used to be the size of typical um, large house in Georgetown this property is for sale property here at the end of what is that Middleton so the last street we came by was Middleton Street. There's a property that's for sale. Some of you looking to buy a house to live in Georgetown. Here is one that's for sale. There's a number there to call. I have no idea what the price of this property is, but my guess is that it's going to be in the millions. Or close to a million US dollars all right because prices are escalating in Georgetown you know the price of property has been going up significantly because of the oil and gas industry creating a demand and growing population and so now what used to be a modest house for you know a few million 
Guyana dollars is now fetching hundreds of millions of Guyana dollars. Literally. But this is where you'd probably come in the past for Bel Air, for um, the suburbs. This is a sign that says Community Enhancement Initiative in association with Georgetown Mayor and City Council. They're supposed to be building a Bel Air Community Park on this reserve land. That's what I thought. It's a couple of horses playing on the ground. They're making use of the park, or what is supposed to be a community park. But it hasn't been, um, they haven't started work on it. I think this is at least 10 years since they've identified this land to be built, uh, to be turned into a community park. But yeah, so 